In this video, I'm gonna give you three things. Yes, I'm gonna give you another live video where I make $400. I'm gonna show that to you start to finish. Then number two, I'm gonna show you the importance of your reward to risk ratio as part of your trade plan. Why it's critical and why you can't day trade without one. And then number three to wrap the video up, I'm gonna show you exactly why patience is probably the most important attribute a trader can have and why you gotta let your trade plan and your trade setup either fail or win without randomly messing with it in the middle of the trade. Let's jump in. All right, so the importance of the two to one, 1 1.5 to one, three to one, whatever ratio you wanna use as your reward to risk ratio as part of your trade plan, the reason why that's so important is because if you win, you win a multiple of your R value. And again, here's a video, check this out, I'll explain R values, different ratios for your reward to risk ratio, but you just gotta make sure that every time you win, you're hitting a multiple of your R value, and every time you lose, you're only giving up one. R value. That way you can progress with two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, and so on and so forth, so that you can continue to march forward with a relatively low win rate. Now, like we've talked about in the past, if you have a two to one reward to risk ratio, your win rate, it only has to be 33% to break even, 34% and you're making money. That's roughly three and a half wins out of every 10. That's not too shabby, I'll take that. So I trade two to one ratio and my win rate right now is 56% on my trade setups. So that's a very profitable system that you can then scale in terms of your R value. You could risk 100 to make 200 and then soon you could risk 150 to make 300, 200 to make 400, 300 to make 600 and so on and so forth. You just keep scaling that up until literally you're sitting really nicely at a 50% win rate, risking a thousand on every trade to make 2000. So that's the first thing. That's why that's so important because if you take your trades off early, you take profits when you get nervous and you don't get the full reward to risk ratio, then the next time you lose, it takes a bigger bite out of your earnings and it sets you back. You gotta stick to your trade plan. And number two, Patience, why you have to let your trade setup either fail or win. The reason why you have to do this is because every time you mess with your trades like we just talked about, all you're doing is skewing your metrics. If you take them off early, or you decide to leave one on longer and go for more profit than you had planned for beyond your target, you're changing the dynamics of your trade setup and it makes it harder to measure. All you wanna do as a day trader is control every variable that you can, let the others you can't control just play out, and then do the same thing day in and day out without adjusting or changing variables until you get enough occurrences that you can measure them. So you don't wanna change anything for 50 to 100 trades. You wanna let things play out and see where you are in terms of win rate combined with your reward to risk ratio. So patience is gonna play a key and that's gonna come into today's video. I'm gonna show you this live video as the third thing I'm gonna give you in this, in this video. You're gonna see my live trade play out. You're gonna see me take profit at two to one. So I'm gonna win two R. My R right now is $200. You're gonna see a $400 winner and you're gonna see the patience in this one and I really want you to sit through this and watch this trade play out because you're gonna see me get triggered and then you're gonna see me go through some ups and some downs and ultimately come out victorious. Now, there were multiple points during this trade where I could have taken it off for profit and just said, oh good, I got out, I took some profit and I'll stack it with the chips and we'll move on to tomorrow. But the problem is that win wasn't big enough to justify my next loss or to be able to compensate for my next loss. If I get a flush and I'm up $190 and I just take the trade off, great, that's $190, but what happens the next time I lose the 200R? Now combined, I'm down $10. I win 190, I lose 200, I'm down 10. Whereas normally I would win 400 and lose 200 and then be up 200 
after two trades, one, one win and one loss. So that's the importance behind this, is the two to one, three to one, 1 1.5 to one, whatever you decide that works for you based on your back tests, that combined with patience and never straying from your trade plan will give you consistent metrics that you can measure so that you can increase your R value. You can't up your R value from 200 to 300 without knowing that you're trading a solid plan with a decent win rate. How do you know if your win rate's above 34%? You take a log, you log it in a spreadsheet, you log it in traderview.com, wherever you wanna log your trades. You need to be able to go in and slice and dice that data and come up with your edge, how often you're winning so you know your win rate and so on and so forth so that you can continue to progress within that trading setup and that trading plan over the long term and make a career out of this. So with that being said, let's dive into this trade. I've got some music set up with the trade, so hopefully it makes it a little more enjoyable, but watch the ups and downs. And I want you to ask yourself this, and I want you to comment below. When you're watching this trade, I wanna know when your gut says, oh, take it off, take it off, take the profit. I want you to tell me when that happened, which dollar amount on the P&L. And then I want you to jump down in the comment section. I want you to comment and tell me where you would have gotten out. And if you would have stayed for the whole trade and won 400 like I did, I want you to tell me that too. I want you to say, yes, I would have stayed the whole time. Or no, Jimmy, I would have gotten out at plus 250. Whatever it would have been, wherever your gut says, get out of this trade and take your profits. I want to know where that is. I want you to comment that below. And while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel. If you're new, subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the channel. And join our free Facebook group if you like. The link is in the YouTube banner. So with that, here is your live trade from this morning on AMD. Let's go.